Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. Today, I think I want to tackle one of the larger houses. And... You know, we do have Christmas coming up. Let's do the Home Alone house. This is essentially the house from Home Alone. Why not? Let's do it. It's a colonial style. It's very expensive. But let's tackle this and just kind of see what we're working with. Um, this could be fun. And, you know, Christmas is here and why not? We'll, we'll go for it. And everything's all snowy and stuff, too. In fact, maybe we'll make this all Christmassy because there is actually a lot of like Christmas decorations and stuff in uh, the game. But anyway, let's see here. So outdoors is honestly pretty good. I don't think we need to do anything here. I don't see anything that needs to be mowed or whatever. Oh, there is a basement. Okay, that also comes down through the house as well. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything with the exterior. I can just clean up a little bit of this while I'm over here. There we go. Yeah. So this is fine. All right, let's take a look at the inside. So inside the house, it looks like there's some general cleaning to do. Uh, we've got a Christmas setup over here. I think a lot of this is going to be repainting. Doing stuff with furniture. Okay, we got a large kitchen area over here. Man, there's so much space to this house. And the house itself is actually not in super bad shape. So there's the downstairs. Let's take a look at the upstairs and see what we're working with. It's a lot of bedrooms. Got like a little closet here. Very large bedroom here with a bathroom attached. Okay, so that's probably the master. Yep. And then we've got a smaller bathroom there, like a closet, another bedroom here. Yeah, we can make this work. Um, I need to figure out how many bedrooms and bathrooms and all that kind of stuff I want to put in. I need to do some thinking. Uh, and we're definitely going to want to get rid of a lot of this stuff. I think ultimately I am looking to completely transform this place. So I am going to end up selling a lot, if not all of this furniture. Uh, and even the, like the kitchen over here is actually pretty okay as well. I'm going to end up selling that too. I'm basically going to gut the house and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we want to do with it. So let me get to work and I'll catch up with you in just a minute. All right, I've got a bit of an update. So I went ahead and gutted all the furniture and everything like that inside the house, sold all the doors, uh, went with a different floor just because um, might as well. And that's pretty much all I've done. Now, one little hiccup that I kind of ran into is that this wooden texture on the stairs can't be changed. So I'm stuck with this, which means I had to find a floor tile that uh, kind of matched it. And the floor tile that was originally in the house is not actually available, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. So now I think what I'm going to do is paint the house. And I think I'm just going to start. I, I don't know yet how I want to break this up, but I'm going to make some modifications to some walls. I'm going to paint everything. And then I'll start figuring out uh, kind of where we want to go. So I know for sure that this room right here I want to do something with. I, d I don't know yet if I want to just knock this wall out entirely. Because this space is just really weird. It's just not a great shape. Um, so maybe what I'll do is bring that wall out this way a little bit to make this a little bit bigger. So it could be maybe like an office or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure something out. For now, though, I'm going to get to work on the walls. I've got the whole house all painted and the walls figured out. One really annoying thing is that you cannot change the paint or wall texture on the stairs. So I'm stuck with this wallpaper, which is really annoying because I want to make this into kind of a modern house, like a modern. Well, not necessarily modern in layout, but like modern 
in aesthetic. I don't know. I I, I have a, a a vision in my brain of what I want to uh, of where I want to go with this, but um, I'm not really good at putting it to words. Anyway, I'm stuck with this ugly red wallpaper, and I hate it. Also, that means I'm stuck with this ugl- this ugly red brick, which is also super annoying. <laughs> and the worst part is that this red brick texture is not available in the game as a texture you can apply yourself. So we're stuck with it, but whatever, it's fine. But anyway, uh, all of the walls in the basement down here are all this nicer, darker brick, and the walls everywhere else in the house are white. So here's the layout I went with. I kept most things the same. I added in uh, what will be like a little half bath down here. Uh, So there's a downstairs bathroom of some sort. Uh, And then upstairs, I made a couple tweaks. I made this bathroom here a little bit bigger. I got there was like a little closet here that I just got rid of. Um, I also took out the little closet here and just sort of added it onto the master bedroom. But then I made the master bedroom bathroom smaller. It was that this, this bathroom used to be like all the way across And it just seemed, it was just a little, I don't know, I wasn't really a fan. So I made it smaller, uh, and then that was pretty much the changes that I made as far as, like, actual layout. You know, knocking out walls and stuff like that. So what we will have is one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms, and two and a half bathrooms. Uh, one half bath downstairs and two full bathrooms upstairs. Um, and then the basement, I don't know what I want to do with that yet. Um, I know we, we have a ton of space down here and I definitely want to do more than just like a little, you know, a washer and a dryer. Um, so we might actually, we might put another bathroom in like right here. Maybe we'll go like, how how do you count two half bathrooms? (laughs) Uh, Two and a half square? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. But maybe we'll put in another small bathroom down here as well. And then maybe we'll uh, we'll actually furnish the, ba- the downstairs carpet it. Uh, make it like maybe like a like a family room or a gaming room or something like that. You know, with like a pool table and all that kind of stuff. Mini bar. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure something out. But, uh, you know, it's coming along. I think we're ready to go ahead and start actually renovating. We also definitely want to make this a living room for sure. This kind of was a study before, and I might make it a study again. It's it's a nice... Uh, this would actually be a pretty nice study. Over here, this is going to be mostly just sort of a, hall, uh, a hallway uh, or a, a, you know, an entranceway, a foyer, if you will. <laughs> um kitchen and dining room over here this may also be a dining room i don't know yet in fact I, you know what this will probably just be kitchen and then this will be a proper dining room which honestly was pretty close to what they did before like the i'm not uh, i i don't dislike a lot of the parts of the layout they had uh they had when we bought the house i just want to change a lot of the furniture and and the general aesthetic of things but as far as the actual layout of where we're putting things i think a lot of that makes sense Anyway, let me get to it. Oh, snap. Guess what, guys? House Flipper just got a surprise update that I didn't know was coming. And this update brings a couple of things. One of which is Steam Workshop support, which means hopefully soon there will be all sorts of wonderful mods to add new furniture and things like that. And even without the Steam Workshop, There's a ton of new stuff. First of all, they completely changed the tablet, like the way that everything's organized and laid out. But look at the new furniture. We've got new cabinets. We've got new kitchen stuff. We have kitchen corner cabinets that hang in the corner. Oh, you have no idea how happy about that I am. Uh, That's something that I've been wanting for ages. We've got new ovens and stuff, lots of new kitchen stuff, which is fantastic. Uh, We got a couple, there's a bunch of other things kind of spread about in different places. Um, I think there's some new, uh, let's see, 
some new office stuff. There's some new uh, window things. These blinds, these clotho blinds are new. There's a bunch of new stuff and things like that. But the big thing is we've got new kitchen stuff that actually adds corner cabinets. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's something that I have wanted, like, since I started playing this game for the first time literally years ago at this point. We've also got new floor uh, textures. So this is a new floor texture right here. Ooh, I actually like that a lot. That's really nice. And then uh, this one is new as well. And that one I don't like quite as much, but it's okay. But yeah, those are both new as well. So we, there's all sorts of new stuff. These also come in wall variants. Like, there's all sorts of new stuff in this update for us to play around with. And the, the, the coolest thing about this is I had no idea it was coming. This is a complete surprise to me. So it's like Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back to working on the house. I've noticed one rather annoying thing with the new update. Uh, when you pick a, an item and you choose a texture for it, it no longer tells you what the texture is. So I imagine that's a bug that will probably be fixed uh, in the future. But that's a thing now. But anyway, I've got the um, the sort of entrance way, the foyer, if you will, all done. Or is it foyer? I feel like it's foyer. Anyway, I've got the entrance way done. So we've got kind of like a little mud room here with just a couple of coat racks, a little, uh, you know, shoe... Uh, box things um, went Christmassy and decorated everything with garlands and mistletoe and wreaths and things like that. And then we've got kind of the staircase area up here. I put in a sideboard, a little bookshelf here with a, a couple of things on it, just to kind of take attention away from this staircase where I can't change the wallpaper texture. Uh, added in a couple of carpets, a couple of rugs, etc. Speaking of which, this needs to move there. There we go. Now it's centered on the door. Okay, so yeah, this is sort of our entranceway and everything. I think it's good. I think it's fine. We don't need to go like super crazy with any of this and, you know, cover every little inch of space because this is such a big house that, uh, you know, keeping it relatively simple is probably going to be the way to go. Anyway, on to the next room. Living room is officially finished and Christmasified. That's a word now. Anyway, <laughs> so I went with a kind of an older, larger fireplace over here. I decided to leave the uh, the stockings that were here when I first bought the house. I think I'm going to move that down just a little bit. Um, I think that looks good. And then I put a corner couch over here, TV and TV stand, cabinet, put a little reading area over here with a couple of armchairs and a coffee table, bookshelf, red curtains, uh, all in all. I think it's good. Uh, and then a Christmas tree, of course, with lots of presents under the uh, lots of presents under the tree and just a bunch of various Christmas decorations, wreaths and uh, bells and garlands and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I think this is good. I'm happy with it. This will be a nice little living room area. We may have another living room in here. I don't know yet. Um, this is going to be a study. This is going to be a dining room. No, I don't think we will have another proper living room. I think this will be it. Uh, is just this one. And this is a pretty good size, you know, serviceable living room. So anyway, moving on. I went ahead and finished the study slash office. I think it turned out all right. We put an Alexander desk in over here with carpet, laptop, all that kind of stuff. A little bit of Christmas decoration, but not too much. I put in an AC just to fill this space up here above the window couple of bookshelves and a little reading area over here with a coffee table. Also, I'm pretty sure this this table right here, I think this is new. It's, a, it's technically a bedside table. I'm pretty sure this is new as well. So there may be even more items that are new that I didn't uh, know were here. A couple of paintings and I went ahead and carpeted the floor and went with a wood texture for the walls because I thought it would give it kind of a really nice sort of cozy feel, uh, which I like quite a lot. I've learned something else new with this new update. Apparently, you can now get paint in multiple sizes. So you can get larger paint buckets, which means you have to buy less paint buckets, which is awesome. That's a new addition as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I finished up the dining room here. So went with, uh, I think this is, what's this? Uh, delicate cacao. 
delicate cocoa. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's, it's this color. <laughs> it's like a whitish brown. Um, I went with that, and then for kind of an accent wall, I made this sort of a stone texture, which I think works really well, because it was a little bit too much. It needed to be broken up. Uh, so dining room table over here, plenty of sitting, eight chairs, uh, chandelier above, some poinsettias on the table, and then over here I just added like a little um, indoor plant area. A couple of coffee tables and just a, a variety of different plants and things with a sideboard over here. So uh, it works, you know? It's a nice functional dining room, tons of space, and I think it looks pretty good. All right, I went ahead and finished up the kitchen. I added another dining room table over here. I thought maybe it'd be nice to have like a little uh, smaller table that's closer to the kitchen, you know, and then this would be for like you know, larger family meals and stuff like that. But in the morning, if you're just, I don't know, grabbing a bowl of cereal or something and you just want to eat quick and get out the door, you know, smaller table right here. So I've got this all figured out. I wasn't really able to fit any uh, overhead cabinets just because there's windows all over the place and I couldn't find a way to really make it look good. Um, but I did use the new kitchen uh, counter stuff. So that's new. This is a dishwasher. Um, unfortunately, right now, if you open it, you can't ever close it again. Uh, so that's the thing. And then there's a new stove as well. This is, uh, this is a new, this thing is actually separate. The burner that goes on top of the ovens, uh, is actually a separate item altogether. But this oven here matches the new cabinets. Uh, went with the fridge, a little bookcase, you know, everything's pretty straightforward. Did a little bit of a black, uh, a little bit of a backsplash with this gray herringbone. Uh, and that's essentially the kitchen. Um, and then I also went ahead and did the bathroom, this little half bath in here. Painted everything. I think this is royal blue. Some cabinets, toilet, sink, mirror. It's just meant to be a half bath, so it doesn't really need to be anything uh, extraordinary. So I think this is fine. You know, we got our little half bath down here. We got our kitchen, our dining room. And that's basically it for the downstairs. We do have this little area here that goes down to the basement, but I don't think I'm actually going to do anything with this other than just put a light in. Let's just go uh, lights, ceiling lamp, and let's just put in something simple. Maybe just like one of... Maybe one of these, like, hanging bulbs. That could actually be kind of cool. Just put one of those, like, right here. You know, the idea is it's it's not much. It's just a, a way down to the basement. Uh, and I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the basement, but we'll do something with it. But anyway, that basically takes care of the downstairs. So now it's time to start working on the upstairs. The master bedroom is done, and I'm okay with it. I'm not super sold on the wall color, to be honest. I really like the uh, the wooden panels back here. I think this is really nice. I'm just not super sold on the color of the walls. Uh, this is, I think, Sandy Almond, and it's okay, but I've tried like 10 different colors and didn't really like any of them, so... I don't know. This is what we're going with. <laughs> I finally just hit a point where I'm like, you know what? I got 20 more rooms to do. <laughs> we're going with this. Um, but yeah, this is the master bedroom. So we've got a nice double bed, a couple of bedside tables with lamps, painting, uh, some some other paintings and stuff around, a couple of bookshelves, a uh, little sort of dressing area over here with a, a dressing table and a dresser. And then in here, I did add a little closet space. Um, so that's an addition, and then I also went ahead and did the master bathroom, or rather the bathroom that's attached to the master bedroom. Uh, and it's very small and very simple. It's just a toilet, a shower, a sink, um, and that's about it. There's not really a whole lot else in here. This is a different color as well. I think this is like something peach, I think it's the color. I don't know. Either way, it works. So this is taken care of. It's time to move on to the other bedrooms. We still have one two, that's a bathroom, three, four, five more bedrooms to do. So we still have a lot of, this is going to be a six bedroom house. Uh, some of these I think we're going to make into kids rooms and some of them will be maybe like um, teen, uh, early adult age rooms and then maybe we'll have one that's like a guest bedroom or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. 
So I think this is going to be the air quotes guest bedroom. It just kind of has that sort of a vibe to it where it doesn't feel very lived in, right? It's basically just uh, a, a dresser, a bed, a couple of bedside tables, a little bit of extra cabinet space over here, and then just some decorations. And I think for a guest bedroom, this is actually perfect. You know, we wouldn't have a whole lot of stuff like uh, desks and clutter and things. It would be, you know, visitors come in and here it is. Uh, I went with Moody Cobalt for the walls. Uh, Roman blinds, and I used uh, the, a, a much darker wood uh, just for something a little bit different here, and then a poinsettia. But yeah, guest bedroom. Uh, I think what I want to do with, let's see, this is the master. I think what I want to do with this one is turn it into like um, a, a nursery, like a, a room for like a baby. Uh, so that's next. We officially have a baby's room. It's very pink. <laughs> And I went with like this mountain wallpaper and then just put like toys and little kid stuff everywhere. Uh, so we've got like blocks, we've got a changing station, we've got dolls and stuffed animals and cute pictures on the walls and things that fit the color scheme and whatnot. It, it's very pink. I, I wanted to go with a very, very pink theme because like, why not? So this is what we have. We have a baby's room. Uh, so now... I think it's time to tackle the large bathroom in the house, and that's going to go right here. Bathroom finished. It's okay. Uh, it honestly didn't turn out quite as well as I was hoping. I ended up going with like a very light gray for the walls. I don't know. It just, hmm. Sometimes it just doesn't quite come together. I tried a bunch of stuff for the walls. Again, I think it's just a lack of color. I wanted to put a bathtub and a shower into here, and I managed to do that. But then the problem is you end up with all this empty space over here. So I ended up just putting up a picture and kind of rolling with it. But other than that, I think it's okay. We got our toilet. We got a little toilet paper stand, uh, little shelving things, sink, mirror. You know, everything you need is here. It works. It's a functional bathroom. Honestly, it's a pretty nice bathroom. It does have a bathtub and a shower. So, you know, it's fine. It'll work. I decided to go ahead and do the last three remaining bedrooms all at once. So I added another children's room over here, went with dinosaur wallpaper. Uh, fun fact, I actually had dinosaur wallpaper uh, in my bedroom when I was a little boy. Anyway, so um, single bed, bookshelf with some toys and things, poster on the wall, just, you know, pretty standard little kid's room. Um, not like little, little, you know, not, not baby room like this one, but, uh, you know. It works. Then I went and did this room. This I figured would be like maybe a high school or a college student. Um, so larger bed, TV. They get a TV in their room, dresser, uh, guitar hanging on the wall, little desk for their schoolwork, and, uh, you know, a poster on the wall as well. And then finally, I went with another kid's room. Um, this one has a bunk bed. I went with a very bold... I think this is Laughing Strawberry is the color, a very red room, uh, and then just, you know, some war some uh, some dressers and uh, things like that. So those are the three remaining bedrooms. I also decorated the hallway up here uh, with just a couple of uh, cabinets and plants and paintings and stuff. So the very last thing that we actually need to do for this house is the basement down here. We need to figure out what I want to do, and I'm thinking... Over here, I'm going to put a little laundry area, and then the rest of this is basically going to be like a large uh, entertainment room, like a family room, you know, man cave type deal. Uh, probably put in like a little mini bar, um, put in a pool table and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, should be fun. All right. I have finished the basement man cave family room area. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really well. So we added in a little pinball table, uh, put in a little mini bar with a fridge, little laundry area over here, a foosball table. Uh, we got a little pool table over here, fireplace, TV for watching the game if it's on and you're down here with the, the friends or whatever. A couple of couches, a couple of armchairs, bookshelves, etc. Uh, carpeted floor. Pretty nice, honestly. Like, this is, uh, this is decent. This is totally functional uh, and it's a nice little sort of man cave area so that I believe is now the house in its entirety so just to recap everything um, 
when we come in oh by the way i put a snowman out here because you know christmas and stuff uh anyway so coming inside we've got sort of our main entranceway area over here is the living room with uh, the presents under the tree and all that kind of good stuff we got a little den in here we have our dining room area and some plants kitchen dining room little bathroom in here uh, we've got the downstairs man cave that we just looked at and then going upstairs if we pop up here we've got a variety of bedrooms one master bedroom that has an attached bathroom uh, we've got a guest room in here we've got uh, a baby's room we have the main bathroom in here another child's room we have another child's room and then we have the high school college students room and that's the house in its entirety so now all we need to do is sell the place and there's nothing that i need to do with the yard or anything like that that should already basically be good to go so let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll just see if we get yeah okay so we get some points that's fine i didn't do anything to it at all uh but it'll increase the value of the house a little bit and then let's put the house on auction and see what we will get for it so uh looks like Looks like we spent roughly 450, 460, somewhere in there. We'll see how much we get for it. Look at that, $400,000 in profit. Essentially, I am going to, I'll just accept it as is. Money is not really a concern. Anyway, we're just doing it for fun. So this is what we're now working with. And I think it turned out pretty well. And it, for some reason, the before and after stuff here isn't properly working for the for some of these. It's still showing the before. I don't know. Maybe it bugged out or whatever. But we've got like, we put like seven or eight. I, I, I didn't look at the time. I don't know how much time we put into this house, but it was a, it was a fair amount. And there have been some people saying like, hey, you should just upload everything, the whole un unedited thing. I'm like, nah. Uh, it would be lots of videos and lots of it's just painting and placing things and putting it back and uh, it's just not uh, it's just not content that I want to upload so I do see those comments I appreciate the feedback but it's just not something I'm going to do um, anyway so there we go we have flipped the home alone house and uh, you know Merry Christmas I guess even though it's not Christmas yet. But anyway, so I think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.